if you're a regular on my channel for my streams, you probably already know what I'm going to talk about. And no, I'm not leaving Warzone. So let's get into the idea of it. But what is your biggest piece of advice for anybody who is playing Warzone now and wants to enjoy what they're doing? It's a hard, co hard concept to cover. I think we have some options. So we are dropping in to the last stand limited time game mode kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It's something to try, it's something to do. It's a little bit different. So what is something that you can do to still enjoy Warzone in its last season before Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 come out? And what does the future of Warzone look like? And what can you do to ensure that you can still enjoy it when it gets there? Uh, these are important topics because a lot of people have been playing Warzone for three years. If you think about it, there's not a lot of games that have been live for three years that people still frequently cover. Uh, titles like uh, Rainbow Six Siege have been a long-standing game, uh, but that's most of it, for at least for competitive shooters. Uh, Fortnite came around at the same time. And there are still people who play uh, quite a bit of PUBG, but for the most part, not a lot of games have had an extended longevity, not only in player base, but in streaming. But that's about to be coming to an end as Warzone 2 is gonna be coming out soon and you're gonna be finding people moving on. Okay, that balloon just disappeared, that's fun. Okay, hi guy, uh, but you're going to have to find new ways to enjoy what you're doing as the content that they're producing uh, he, uh, like screeches to a stop and the content they're going to be making is going to be on a different game and you got to find a way to uh, entertain yourself until that one's available. So what can you do to branch out and enjoy the game more? So if you are a Rebirth Island player, I'm, I apologize for saying this right now. Um, gonna need to find a way to, to mix it up uh there's a good chance rebirth island will not return uh it's already been in two games and granted this one it's been uh been here for what almost three years now uh it's been around actually i think longer than verdansk has at this point right i guess not verdansk 84 if you're talking about original verdansk verdansk then yes but verdansk 84 obviously uh that was two years and caldera's only been one so yeah but people are getting heavily fixated on their one particular map, one particular mode, and one particular thing they enjoy doing. And people are refusing to branch out. And you're seeing that with uh, things like on Twitter with uh, no rebirth, no play. Meaning when people pull away, or when Raven pulls Rebirth Island, people just stop playing. Uh, same for a lot of people with Plunder. A lot of people play plunder, plunder, and whenever plunder is pulled, they've got nothing to play. Uh, especially if they don't even see clash on the uh, on the list, then you generally have nothing, nothing to play. So learning to get out and attempt to learn the game in new ways is not only going to increase the longevity of your enjoyment, especially while we're waiting on Warzone 2 to be here, uh, but also will increase your enjoyment when Warzone 2 does get here. Because if I see it the way that I see it, uh, Warzone 2 will not come with a Rebirth Island. And R Warzone 2 will also most likely not come out with Plunder. And I know that kind of sounds dumb to say that, but I think honestly, game modes like uh, the DMZ are supposed to take the place of Plunder and other modes like that because, well, uh, one of the things that has been plaguing Warzone and it's, uh, it's just general play is to me i feel like they've stressed the community too thin by incorporating too many different game modes without and ex without extending their own player base so as the game modes go up the player base and the number of people you can match with go down at least uh at least in their respective playlist so match times keep getting longer and you continuously play only the sweatiest players. Um, and that's for everybody. I believe almost everybody can attest to the fact that the more they play, the 
the sweatier the series get towards the end. And that's because there are less and less players playing a lot of these playlists. And more and more players are just stopping. And I think if they can find a way to streamline uh, the enjoyment and reduce the number of playlists, while it will be problematic for players who only play one playlist, it will increase the playlist or the playlist population for everybody else. And I think that it's a good thing to work to find a way to enjoy all the different options you might have available to you. Um, streamlining yourself into only one game mode is generally how you're going to find yourself not having a good time. Uh, and that always sucks. That always sucks. If you've put three years into this game and then you can no longer have a good time on anything but one game mode, I mean, you're only limiting yourself. So one of the things I'm going to recommend today is trying new game modes. Obviously, if you're if you're not a long time uh, Battle Royale player and you go into Battle Royale for the first time, you're probably not going to have a great time. It's going to it's just going to happen. Um, you're not going to understand really the nuances of Battle Royale and you're probably not going to be able to be able to have the uh, same amount of fun you would have if you are a plunder player as you are going to be, you know, nor used to just respawning and coming back. Uh, that's where friends come in and uh, I hear it daily. Uh, multiple times a day, people say, I just don't have friends that play this game. Uh, I play by myself. Well, here is my daily invitation to you. Join my Gilded. If you're not familiar with Gilded, Gilded is a, is a, um, Gilded is a community-based app similar to something like Discord, but better because it's not got all of its good features locked behind a paywall. Uh, we use our Gilded daily uh, for people to make friends and to have a good time and to uh, find people to game with or to just talk to. Um, if you're like me, who's a, been a guy who's been playing for a long time, uh, you know that uh, you know that as you get older, obviously you have less and less people who are spending time playing games. And for some of us, it is our only way of really relieving stress on our days. So finding a community to be able to game with, hang out with and make friends will not only increase, uh, you know, the fun you can have in your own pastime, but it also increases the number of ways that you can learn to enjoy a game. Uh, I know multiple of our fire starters will uh, play Rebirth Island. They play Fortune's Keep. They play Big Map on Caldera, Plunder, and uh, even some of these limited time modes. And then we even have our member games that we have every Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where if you're a pyromaniac or higher on the channel, you're more than welcome to join for the member games. Uh, I'll go through on how to join those if you end up becoming a member. Uh, but overall, what ends up happening is people, and I've heard it day in and day out, people find new ways to enjoy this game once they start playing new game modes and start playing with new friends. And I would love to be able to offer the ability for you all to find a new way to enjoy it. Uh, because it's one of those things that the... It only takes a few different changes to really start enjoying the game all over again. Uh, for me, I started playing on controller uh, after having played on keyboard and mouse for three years. And so by learning to play again on a different on a different input method, I forced myself to reinvigorate my love of Warzone. I have uh, recently picked up again just iron sight sniping. Uh, another way of challenging myself to play some way different in Warzone. Again, it's a three-year-old game, and the new weapons and the new map, uh, they only go so far. Finding your own way to make fun in the game is really important. And I think people forget about that. People forget about the fact that a game is supposed to be fun. I think people get so tied up in the idea that it's about a royale, they, uh, they forget. You can go in just to have fun. So like I said before, Drop some of your favorite tips on having fun in Warzone in the in the chat down below. I'm gonna leave a link to our Gilded in the comments or in the comments or yeah in the comments and description down below so you can join and try to make some friends, hang out, come join us in the channel. We get to we get to talk and we have wonderful conversations and make some friends that way as well. Or join us for some member games again every Saturday 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for checking out the video. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, peace.